What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has released the second beta of macOS Sequoia 15.1, and in this video I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. You guys were stuck on beta 4, but with Apple Intelligence basically, so let me get you caught up and tell you everything that is new inside of this latest beta. Alright, so the first you can see right off the bat is that we have a brand new default wallpaper. It is Sequoia, California, it's specifically the national park there. It is called Sequoia Sunrise. It shows off the trees since the trees are pretty big inside Sequoia, which is why Sequoia is significant. So we got a couple of changes in here. The first one is, is that if we were to go to appearance, you can now see that these have now been updated to have the Sequoia wallpapers. So before they would show the Sonoma wallpapers, but now they show the Sequoia wallpapers, which I think looks really nice right here. So if we go into general and about, and then scroll down right here, we now have an official Sequoia wallpaper. So it's the dark mode wallpaper, so I'm not sure if I need to update that or not to have the dark mode. Yeah, so I'm gonna need to update all of my branding on my thumbnails to support this dark mode wallpaper that we have inside of here. Alright, the next change has to do with Safari, because we got a couple of new changes here inside of Safari. So the first one is if we go into Safari, then settings right here, and then go into the tab section, you can see we now have the Sequoia branding right here. It's no longer the Sonoma wallpapers, it's now the Sequoia wallpapers. I think it looks really nice. The next change inside this latest beta of macOS 15 is that if we click on this button right here, and click on hide distracting items, we have a pretty cool new feature where you can click and we'll just hide that specific element on that web page. For example, if I wanted to get rid of that and this other app, man, there are a ton of ads now I realize it on Mac Rumors. You're just able to click it, and then once you're ready, you just press on done, and then you just have removed all the distracting elements. And you can do the same thing on the web pages as well. If I want to hide this, or this, or this, or this, just so I have this page. It's an alternative to the reader view right here that yeah, you could also use. I really like this feature. It kind of kills off ad block for me because I could just click and remove the ads. They also won't show back up. Now, ad developers might find a way to get around this change, but as of right now, you just are going to be able to enjoy no ads on websites now. I really like this feature. Honestly, one of the best additions of this update, and it has a really cool animation. All right, the next change is inside the music app. So if we go inside the music app right here and then bring it over right here, you can see that we have a brand new section right here. They actually rebranded the browse section to say new. I'm not sure how to feel about this, but hopefully this actually does show new music instead of the same music that we had for years. Or maybe it's just new music for us and that's why they call it new. We'll never know, I guess. Now the next change has to do inside the calculator app. So we got one of my suggestions fixed inside of here, where if you go to the programmer calculator, there's no way to go back. Now I'm not sure what they updated in here. I think they made this backspace button a little bit smaller. But if you click on this button right here, you can now switch between basic, scientific, and programmer easily just like that. This button has always been inside the scientific and the basic views but never inside of the program reviews. In order to get out of the program review, which I don't think anybody would really want to do, you have to go inside the menu bar before. But now that it's fixed, and now you could just switch between views right away. I'm not sure what they had to change to make sure everything fits, but as far as I can see, it looks like it was the backspace button. Now the next change is that we got a brand new splash screen inside of the Photos app. So this is what it looks like. New collections, more utilities, and featured photos. So it's a little bit different than we got inside of iOS. But other than that, it looks like the Photos app has remained unchanged mostly. Now the next change is inside the Messages app right here. So if you right click on a certain message and then and then hover over an element, now have a really nice hover effect, in, which I really like a lot. Hovering just to give you a little more feedback as to what you're about to click. Not much else with this feature, but it just looks a lot nicer now that we have it. Now the next change inside this latest beta of macOS Sequoia, this is 15.1 specific, I'm no longer showing you 15.0s anymore, is that we got a huge bug fix for app groups. So if you go into Willy Widgets, you can see you can now place any widget that you want, and it's the same with every other widget, basically. They have finally fixed this inside this latest beta. It was annoying for everyone, but it is now fixed inside this beta. However, this was not fixed inside of 15.0 beta 6, so that's a little bit interesting as to why. But at least they finally fixed one of these major annoying issues inside of macOS Sequoia right here. There is nothing new with Apple Intelligence, unfortunately. Everything seems to be about the same. Now that is everything I could find inside this latest beta of macOS Sequoia. Thanks for watching, come on, subscribe, share this with your friends, download my apps in the description down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!